Hi, I'm Miss Fit, and I'm sitting here with Haley, also known as the Little Miss. Hi. <laughs> so we're sitting here talking about the music for the movie, and finding the perfect piece of music for an independent movie is so hard because we don't have a budget, a big budget for it at all. And when I heard the Little Misses, You Can Run, I knew we had a home run. I got chills. <laughs> so one of the coolest parts of making this documentary for me was learning about how music is such an important part of storytelling. And I knew that, but I didn't really get it. Uh, not 100% until I saw scenes that have been put together for the movie that had this amazing temp score music laid underneath it. Um, uh, music by John Lennon, music mm. by like Kanye West. Mm -hmm. uh, our director Greg is sort of this musical library. He's got it in his head. And he, so he picks all this amazing music mm -hmm. to go into the scenes and then I see the edited version of the scene with this amazing music and my first thought is, can we keep that? <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah, total force. Which the answer is no. The reason we can't keep it is because we can't afford it. We're independent filmmakers. So my heart sinks. And I don't believe we're going to replace the feeling that we get out of this perfect music. And then I hear your song. <laughs> um, and I'm blown away. Did you know you wrote it for me? I did not. <laughs> I did not. Now I do. <laughs> so what inspired that song? When I first moved to Los Angeles, I was so afraid of starting here as a musician and singer-songwriter. And I just felt myself sort of going in circles and feeling pretty lost. I mean, it's called You Can Run because, I mean, implicitly the other end of that is But You Can't Hide. And all of my sort of self-defeating rhetoric in my head, all the things I'd been telling myself I couldn't do, I mean, they're just my own creation, you know? And so learning to overcome that um, is where the song ends up. Overcoming your fears. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's why you wrote the song for me. <laughs> totally. Oh no, my gosh. I mean, it's, yeah. I, I thought about that this morning. Well, so listening to your music, how did you feel about the remix? I mean, there's so much more oomph in the, in the drums, and you got that authentic Western elements that sound sort of tribal, very organic elements that add to, you know, the manpower of the song, or the woman power, rather, you know? That song was produced in, like, a living room, essentially. So the fact that you guys added all these other elements, I mean, actually does add quite a bit more volume to the song, you know, um, in a really good way. 
That's really cool. And you say you keep saying you know to me, and I don't. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you I know? I really don't know. I don't know how it comes together. That was what was so exciting for me with the editing process of mm -hmm. the movie. Learning. Right. Yeah. Totally. About how music informs what you're seeing, but mm -hmm. not just informs it. It underscores it, and it. It really delivers the emotions when there are no words. Right. So it's like this whole emotional wave. So by the end of, my, if, especially if I play a set in front of anybody and it includes that song, by the end of my set, I usually feel a lot better than when I started out because it's that release, you know, of those emotions. So like we've talked about in this whole process of even creating You Can Run, creating Misfit, everything that has gone into these projects, I mean, not even a little part of it happens alone. Yeah, so it, it's a team effort. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to find a way to get our movie out to people and hopefully be able to shine a light on the other people that were involved in this project and maybe inspire more people. Um, and so that's where the audience comes in. I think the movie's going to inspire a lot of people. That's our goal. So I hope we can inspire you and the circle continues.